Hello, my name is Rob Spano. I work with HMY Yacht Sales. I'm part of the Viking Yacht Specialist Team. Today we're at Viking Yacht Service Center here in Riviera Beach, Florida. We're going to take a look at the 2018-92 Skybridge. Here we are in the cockpit of the 92. As you can see, we've got our sunshade up to keep that sun off. This boat is equipped with the Release Marine Fighting Chair, the transom box, which doubles as a live well or a fish box. You've got all your cockpit hatches that contain your refrigeration, freezers, live wells, drink boxes. Uh, here you've got your mezzanine seating that has air conditioning built into the back. You've got two tackle drawer stations on either side. Located here in the middle of the mezzanine is the engine room access hatch. Open this up. As we make our way towards the engine room, we come through the mechanical room, which has a battery box storage area, air conditioning compressors, your Eskimo ice maker, along with some of your refrigeration compressors. Here we have our DC and AC panel, our ETA screen, which has all of our touchscreen breakers built in. In this compartment, we have our crew quarters. Here housed is a refrigeration unit convection microwave oven, their own washer and dryer, private head and shower, as well as two bunks. As we make our way into the engine room, you can see the huge overhead space. This boat is powered with MTU 16 cylinder M96L series, rated at over 2,600 horsepower a piece. This boat will do over 36 knots. Over here we have our Sea Recovery Aquamatic water maker. Easy accessible filters to change when needed. Uh, PTO for your hydraulic unit there on either gear. We have toolboxes port and starboard. So plenty of tool storage down here. Below deck our housing for our central seawater cooling system which runs all of our cooling manifold system on board. Both of the pumps are plumbed in parallel. So one strainer can be cleaned while the other one is still running operational. You don't need to shut the cool water system off to the boat. Moving forward in the engine room, all the way on this forward bulkhead is our main aft tank, which is a 1600 gallon tank out of the 4,000 total gallons that this boat carries. Up above here we have the central seawater control box. Outboard here is our water separator, Raycor fuel filter system membrane for our Spot Zero Dometic and also our main brake cords for each engine. These boxes here are our frequency drives for our central seawater pumps which regulates how much water the system needs to continue pressurized cooling of all the systems on board. We move outboard here. This boat is upgraded with 55 kilowatt Cummins Onan generators, one on either side port and starboard. A standard option on the 92 is the AC power system, which allows the boat to be compatible to any dock throughout the world. One of the great things about the Viking Yachts Company is how they finish off the engine rooms. Everything in here is intelligently laid out, which makes it easy to maintain, which any crew operating this boat will surely appreciate. As we walk up the steps here, you'll see we have a nice table set up for six. We have a uh, bridge ladder with access to the bridge. We have overhead air conditioning and lighting above, outdoor grill, as well as a drop-down TV. Let's take a look inside. As we go inside, you'll see the 92 salon is very spacious and provides plenty of room for entertaining. There's ample seating to port side with two L couches. The couch does lift up for storage area. A lot of crews end up using this for tackle storage. We do have a wet bar here with a ice machine located just outboard. Pop-up TV is located in the cabinetry. The wine cooler is located here underneath the bar. We have five bar stools as well as a large dining room table that can sit at least eight people for dinner. Good spot to enjoy the fresh catch of the day. Not only is there a large pop-up TV in the sitting area, there's an additional TV that enables the guests to watch the game while they're eating. The galley is a very spacious galley with six under-counter sub-zero refrigeration and freezer drawers, as well as a stove top and a oven. We have a trash compactor located here on the outside of the galley. As you can see, there's plenty of room for a gourmet chef to do plenty in this kitchen. 
Forward of the dining room on the port side here is our day head, which enables the guests to use the head while out fishing without having to go down to the staterooms. Just forward of the galley is one of our ETA screens, which is our touchscreen breaker panel system that enables the captain or crew to access any breaker anytime throughout the boat. Located down the stairway <clears throat> is the master stateroom. Here we have a full beam master, 24 feet in width, with a full king size bed. Has a large screen TV located at the foot of the bed. Also a full walk-in closet, which also houses the safe. One of the aspects that the women really love is this makeup vanity with a mirror built right into the cabinetry. Here we have access into the master head, which is a his and hers, and has access from port and starboard, and has a large shower in between. The master stateroom also includes this sitting area where you can enjoy your morning coffee while looking out the window. Now let's go forward and take a look at some of the other staterooms. Right up the stairs from the master immediately to port is a full-size bed which also has its own head and TV. Located at the bottom of the steps on the starboard side is a full-size washer and dryer which is centrally located for all the staterooms. Down the hallway on the starboard side, we have a very spacious stateroom, which has a queen bed, as well as its own private head and shower, and ample hanging storage, enough for his and hers. As we move forward down the hallway, we have a linen closet to the right, and then in this room, there are side-by-side -side berths. This room also has its own TV, and also full head with shower. As we move all the way forward into the VIP stateroom, you can see it's a queen bunk with a lot of natural light from the hatch above. On those nicer days, you can open that up to enjoy the sea breeze. Moving aft, you can see this stateroom has a private head with a full shower. So now let's go take a look at the sky bridge. The 92 enclosed bridge has an outdoor staircase, but it also has this elegantly designed interior staircase. As we make our way up onto the sky bridge, you can see it almost doubles as another salon with all the spacious seating it has. A large comfortable couch, as well as two sub-zero drawers, and also a pop-up TV to starboard. So on the forward part of the bridge here, we have the helm. Our main screens are five KEP screens that function as black boxes, enable us to switch between plotter, sounder, radar, camera systems, whatever we wish to pull up at the moment. All of our other instruments are easily in arm's reach. We have VHFs, radar controllers, SIMRAD chart plotters, Garmin controllers, autopilot. We have a Zenta joystick here from the MTU. We have our SeaKeeper display, as well as our backup controls for MTUs, our Carlisle Finch searchlight, FLIR infrared camera system. These drop-down drawers, they house your toggle switches that have some of your lights and also your port and starboard engine keys, as well as your horn, and then of course your VHF mics. And this can all be stored out of sight. When you're not using it, close it up for a nice clean look. From this station, we can make our way back here to the aft bridge, where we also have another helm station. Out here on our aft helm station, we have all of our electronics that we have in our main helm station also duplicated out here so that we can use all of our electronics while we're driving the boat from back here. From this aft helm station, we can make our way up to the sky bridge. As we make our way up here to the sky bridge, you can see we have great views all the way around. We have unobstructed views of the bow from here all the way down into the cockpit. I can see 360 degrees around the boat. We have all of our electronics duplicated up here that we have down below. So I've got full capability of all my navigational equipment. Located in the drop down box, I have another Garmin screen, a Garmin autopilot and a Furuno RD33. Located in the teaser box above are a pair of my Epic US9s. As we move forward on the sky bridge, you see we have full wraparound seating as well as two forward facing bucket seats and also a refrigerated drink box and a wash down sink. 
Okay, that pretty much wraps up our walkthrough on this 2018-92 Skybridge. If you're interested in a private showing, please contact myself or any of the other HMI brokers and we'd be happy to get you on board.